Hello everybody, welcome to Brush and Sons. For this adventure, me, Jess, and the kids packed up our bags to meet up with some friends of ours for a weekend down in Waco. Waco is of course the home to Chip and Joanna Gaines, and if you don't know who they are, don't worry, your wife and or girlfriend will. For those guys out there, it's also home to Baylor University, so if you want to catch a football game, that is an option, although you should be aware, much of Waco is under construction, so it will be a pain in the ass. We did not start at the Magnolia Markets or Baylor University, though. Rather, we went to the Texas Ranger Museum. As you can see, this Texas Ranger Museum is all about the law enforcement Walker, Texas type and not the baseball team. If you want the baseball team, you're going to need to head up to Arlington. This is not for you. But if you're into history, your kids like cowboys and horses, this is the place to go. You can see Hank there riding on a horse. He's having a great time. The staff was all very friendly, so we have nothing but good things to say. All right, let's introduce our friends, Josie and Renee. I should start off by saying that Renee and I met when we were both 19 in the military and we bonded over our common interest in professional dance and excessive drinking. His wife, Josie, is an absolute sweetheart. And after I left for Texas to pursue education, they were then stationed in Hawaii. So we hadn't seen each other in about four years. Since then, we'd obviously had two kids and they had as well, Neilani and Liam. All right, let's get into the tips. I know that some of you are here just for the tips and I'm ready to give it to you. The first tip is going to be look for an Airbnb about 30 minutes or so outside of Waco. You're going to save a ton of money and the one that we found was by the Temple Clean area and right next to a Bucky's where we could get delicious candy corn whenever we wanted. I know some of you are haters but don't bring that into my comment section. Anyway we closed out the first night after a few beers and eating dinner. All the kids got along great so that was a huge relief. We knew we were going to hit up the Magnolia Market in the morning but before that I wanted to try fishing in one of the two ponds located on the property. I know very little about fishing, but I do know that if I get a hook and a grasshopper, there's a chance that a fish will bite. And that's exactly what happened, as you'll see here. Woo! Tip number two is to arrive early to the Magnolia Market. This is Texas, so you're gonna be sweating, but at least if you arrive early, the heat will be a little bit more bearable, and more importantly, there'll be less people with their equally disgusting bodies to be bumping into. And tip number three is just pay for parking. Even if you arrive early, it's unlikely that you'll find parking for free, so we chose to park for $10 across from the Dr. Pepper Museum. Yeah, if you don't know to get cupcakes, then I can't help you here. But of note, there are food vendors on site for pizza, sweet tea, things like that. Once we had taken all the pictures that one and two year olds will tolerate in a single day, we decided it was time to head back to the Airbnb and fire up the grill for some Texas Twinkies and steak. This was our last night in the Airbnb, so we enjoyed a few more beers and got up fairly early so we could say goodbye to the ducks. Bye. Bye ducks. Say bye ducks. Bye. Let's go. You want to see the duckies again? What are you doing? Grass us. Grass us, yeah. <laughs> 